Guys, right now, I made a video about old Drake is better than new Drake. Now I'm saying old Kanye is better than new Kanye. When you go to his older works, like the college dropouts, the graduations, the registration, that perfect three track run, um, start from the college dropout being where it all started, you know, with the soul samples, um, from the registration being a classic album with big hits like Gold Digger, or you can say Touch the Sky. Then when you go to graduation, with probably his, I think his biggest song, Stronger. Then you have a good, you have a great intro track. You have a good outro track with Big Brother. Perfect three track run. That's his newer works. Now, 2010 is the end of his, you know, old Kanye. Then when you go into the 2011, 2012, Era. Yes, Jesus in the Life of Pablo are great albums. I'm not saying they're not. But when you go to his older works, they're just sound way more way put together in a better way. More consistent. He's way better as a whole. And um, I think Jesus in the pa in Life of Pablo are great albums. But do, do what, what I go back to them as much as the college dropouts, the registration, the graduations? No. So that's what I'm saying. Like MDTF, I would go back to college rap. I'll go back to Larry Tracing, graduation. I'll go back to those newer, older rap albums. The newer ones, I, I like the Jesus's and the, the the Life of Pablo's. I would go back to, but not as much. Then when you go to, excuse me, when I mean, you go to his newer works like the Donda, uh, when you have Donda, yes, you have some bouncy beats on like Believe What I Say or Pure Souls. Uh, that's are pretty great tracks, but then when you go to 2023 Kanye or 2022 Kanye, boy, it does not sound the same. Like say, it's like he haven't he didn't like make an album except for Down to Two, but I don't really listen to that. So it's gonna go to his features. Um, in 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 the in new Kanye. So on Pusha T's album, it's almost dry. Um. He was a producer along with Pharrell Williams. Kanye West and Pharrell Williams were producing the track list and the album. But when you go to Rock and Roll, which I think is a great song off of It's Almost Dry and Kid Cudi's vocals, all that stuff. But we're talking about Kanye. So we're going to talk about that feature. His his voice did not sound clean. It had it didn't have that clean sound to it. If it was dun 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 it would sound better, but like, nah, 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 nah. Like, like I don't know how to explain it, but it, it wasn't as clean as you would as you would um hear it. And um I think that I just feel like older Kanye is better than new Kanye. That's it for video guys. Please hit the subscribe button. I post really daily. Um if you guys like music related content like this, mining content and more, you just hit that subscribe button. Peace.